Hi, we're David, Vicky and Mary and we are converting our Fiat Scudo Panorama Nesbit into the Ultimate Family Adventure Van. David's a mechanic with over 25 years experience, Vicky is a project manager and Mary is our apprentice and social media manager. When we set out to buy a van for conversion, we had a very specific list of requirements that we promised ourselves we wouldn't stray from, but then we found Nesbit for sale on eBay and something just drew us to him. Out of the list of requirements, the only thing he had was air conditioning, which ironically didn't work. Oh, and he was from Forfar in Scotland, which is over six hours away from where we lived. However, we were determined to have him and won the auction for only £365 because he didn't run, but the description didn't really give any sort of indication as to why. So at the beginning of February, we set off to pick him up, collecting a trailer on the way to transport him back home. All in all, it took 9 hours to get there and 17 hours to get home. But over 500 miles later and he was home. For the price, the exterior was in pretty good condition with the exception of a massive duct tape plaster on his front bumper, but the inside was another story. We had recovered him from a farm and it would appear he had been used as an animal shelter while he was there. Nevertheless, David started work on trying to get him running and after about two weeks of tinkering, he managed to get him running with a second hand EGR valve that cost £40. Unfortunately, he only came with five seats as a row was missing, which was disappointing, but it was enough for us to get around. David used Nesbit for a few months to make sure that everything was working, which gave us time to come up with some layout ideas. Nesbit needs to be run every day as David's vehicle, and he needs to seat two adults and three kids, but ideally not all next to each other. Primarily, he'll be used as a weekend van for three of us, but we need the flexibility of sleeping five if the older two decide to join us. We also have two dogs. Oh, and did I mention we booked to take him to France at the end of August? So this is the layout we have decided on. Two seats in the front on Captain Swivels, two seats in the rear, and a single seat in the middle to allow easy access and extra space. This leaves enough room to build a small side kitchen with a fridge, sink and toilet and still leaves some room in the back for storage. On the roof we're installing a Freeman roof tent and an awning on the side which will also sleep two to four people. We have split our project into three phases based on time, holidays and budget. Phase 1 needs to be completed before we go to a local festival at the end of July. This consists of installing a new floor, sourcing a single seat that has a double floor mount, changing the intercooler and airflow meter, changing the exterior plastics to make him look his best, installing a new stereo with reversing cameras and Apple CarPlay for SatNav, and installing the roof bars and roof tent. Then once we get back from our festival we'll move on to phase 2 of the build which needs to be completed before we go to France at the end of August. This is a mammoth task and includes installing captain swivels to the front seats, installing a 12 and 240 volt system with split charge relay and leisure batteries, tinting the windows, building a kitchen unit with integrated sink and fridge, changing the wheel bearings, fixing the aircon and giving him a full service. The final phase of the build that doesn't have a deadline or a budget right now includes the installation of a fold down TV to keep the children entertained on long journeys, the installation of a roof basket for extra storage, installing under seat storage, side steps for easier access, alloy wheels and getting the whole van vinyl wrapped and finally installing a pull out canopy for the days where we don't need the awning. So with all that in mind we're going to be very busy over the next few months 
If you'd like to follow along with Nesbit's build, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to click that notification bell so you never miss a video. Also, you can follow us on Instagram at Nesbit the Adventure Van or via our blog at nesbitadventurevan.com. See you in our next video. Bye!